All right, what's up, everybody? Ah, uh, all right. So I decided to go back to something that I somewhat know. In the meantime, so this took a while to download. It was supposed to be done like five minutes before stream starts, but clearly that was not in the in the best case scenario for this. So yeah, let's see what's going on. Oh my god, seriously? Alright, hold on. Put this... Okay, look at this. Oh wow, that's not the camera I wanted to use, but that's okay. Just have to deal with it. Um, Because you guys don't need to see this. You don't need to see any of this. Um, one second, making sure it doesn't ask for any other information. It's been a while, I guess, since I logged into this game. It's asking for that. Come on. Did you just whistle at the dog? Oh my god, alright. I think that's gonna be it, so let's put this back here. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting ready to push that button again if it tries to show more information. She's got a bone? Aww. She she brought it back in here. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> Thank God I don't have to push that button. Okay. Long ago, the traveler came to the soul system. It brought a golden age to humanity. They explored. They built. They thrived. Until the collapse. A terrible calamity caused by the Traveler's oldest enemy. It brought the people of Seoul to the brink of extinction. When all hope seemed lost, the Traveler saved humanity, creating us. With the Traveler's life, ghosts and guardians together protected the last city from the forces of darkness. No matter the cost. She 3D print that gun. complicated than we thought. Our enemies wielded the light, shaking our faith in what we once thought we knew. From old conflicts grew new alliances. I would have murdered that fucker anyway. Just as our enemies learned to wield the light, so pissed when he did that. Discovered the being responsible for humanity's collapse. This is where I don't know. The witness. It wishes to create what it calls the final shape. Last time I played this game, we had that Neptune thing going on with the big people, tall mofos. into the traveler and every attempt has failed until now vanguard scout oh Pro there was a thing i remember inside. playing that 
But that was like from New Year's, I think, when I did the. No, it was like February. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Of the ship. The tip of the spear. Oh, Every that guy's dead. Has brought us to here. Timber. It's time. <laughs> all I know is I saw a tower in the distance and it was all lit, and I'm just like, one does not simply walk into a more door, okay? Also, I only got like half of my nails done. <laughs> I was waiting for shit to go. <sighs> so now I feel I feel like not complete. <laughs> it's okay. That's a dead person. Isn't this how we started the game? Why do I have to restart? <sighs> it's because I uninstalled you. <laughs> Is it possible? Tetanus, yeah. Tetanus is possible, especially with all of that. That's dead as tetanus city right there. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. Oh, that reminds me. That was something I wanted to do. We have the printers with PLA and resin. They have ghosts that we can print. Ones with like light up and everything. And I'm like, I actually like the concept of the ghost. It's it's cute. It's kind of like Ordis, only this one you can actually punch. <laughs> wow. Did it just wink at that child? What's that? Then you could tell. That is a big apple. Do you live without feathers? That sounds like humanity. Three, two, one, not it. Oh, come on. They look like a nice apple. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's pretty fucking cool. I'm getting the cell vibes from that. There's a certain scene, if you've ever seen that movie, and if you haven't, I highly recommend it because just visual eye candy, that entire movie. But, um, there's a scene where there's a horse when she, when she's trying to approach the child in like a museum, there's a live horse, and then he backs away. This thing comes down, slices the horse, and it extends it, and you see horse parts in chunks between glasses and it's still alive <laughs> so that's the thing got vibes from that Dude, this guy's got eyes of a cat that sees Christmas tree lights for the first time. Why are his people so fucking dilated? Jesus Christ. He is 
seen some shit. <laughs> Okay. The traveler cannot abate it much longer. The portal is unstable. I call her the guardian. Me. We're gonna go fuck shit up, I guess. Don't go into the light. Lesson learned. Don't do it. So I've got the, the droid cam running, and lesson learned from yesterday has a weird glitch, right? So I have my vertical thing. I usually use it for recording things for the, the guides, the video guides. There's definitely no question that my hair is pretty fucking red. You don't see it with this one, but yeah, no. Jesus. <laughs> That would be my character. There goes my ship. Shit. It's very purple. Is that the theme of this one? Purple? Because the one with Neptune was like that green, greenish blue color. Let's see if I remember how to move. Oh. Yes. This is very purple. What are these things? We have no signal on either Vanguard leader. The Guardian's comm line is open but non responsive. Kara, we're here. We crashed, but we're here. Alright, we still got jumping, jumping, yep. Side effect of the witness's paracausal mutilations. I can feel its power stretching through the portal. I will try to buy us time. Go. Take it. The witness must be using them to search for us. Time to deal with that shit. Here of concentrated darkness is being detained in a resonance chest. Destroy it. Ah, the 
darkness unraveled and it's projecting something. Overlay of possibilities. We have taken incoming, but I'm picking up something strange with them. A concentrated source of light. Alright, I remember that one. Alright, alright, we got we got remember that one. Okay. What's up, I saw? Oh shit, they followed. Oh, they followed me. Okay. Oh, what the fuck was that? Is there another big boy here? Oh, there's that big boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll get to you. I'll get to you. Come here. Eat my bullets. You bullet hog. Okay. Okay. Aha. You are with extra light now. Let's try activating that concentration of darkness again. How to destiny two. Aim and shoot. Trippy. This game can be trippy. I'm not gonna joke about that. I, yeah, no, I can't. Um, trippy. <laughs> uh -huh, reloading, reloading. What's up, Orion? You on your vacation already? Oh, this is a very nice church. It looks kind of spiky. Oh, they even got a lamppost. I will admit, this game can be very pretty to look at some things like damn. Oh, you leave tomorrow. Okay. I do believe that ship is stuck. Scans are inconclusive. I'm getting conflicting readings on age and material composition. Sal's work. Sounds a little Deutsch, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. Punch that bitch. There we go. Agents of the Black Fleet. Nezarek, Volk, even Kalid. They were just the beginning. Stop moving. Stop moving. What is that sound? Sounded like something crunching, something eating the rocks or the landscape over here. Uh 
That was way overshot. That's one. Ah, oh, bitch. Oh, God, no. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Call of the void right there. Okay. You know that's an actual thing, right? That's the term that has... Well, at least that's how I've heard of it. But if you've ever, like... I don't... We'll go with driving since a majority of people have an experience with this, right? So when you're driving, if you ever get like this weird thought, it could be a quick blip, right? Of like just what would happen if, you know, I just veered off the side of the road. I mean, in most cases you're going to get into an accident, possibly killed or something like that. I mean, as long as you don't act upon it, but that's that's an actual thing. That's <laughs> all the void. Yeah, like it's a sudden thought or urge. Like, as an example, would be a sudden thought or urge to jump from a high place. Yeah, it's it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. The fact that we have that, like as humans, it's it's weird. It's weird. Right, we're going in a circle. That's that's not normal. Right? I mean, yeah, but <laughs> that's just it's one of those really weird oddities that as a species, we actually have that. Oh, you're immune? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Immune to that? Bitch. Yeah, no, it just. I think that's what I just experienced in the game back there. <laughs> There's one more. Maybe. This possible? Yes. Tunnels. That's a nice cabling system. Dude, I cannot be the only one that whenever you see like networking, like server racks, and then that cabling looks so nice, and you're just like, oh, that's so sexy looking. I don't know. It might be just a me thing. I don't know. Like really good cable management with those.
like like this or this you're just like oh that's like mm, that's so nice that that's that looks like a nightmare but stuff like this are just like Pfft. i can't be the only one for that but something whispered at me i don't think i'm alone Sure. Probably means I'm gonna die. Oh, yep, dead. You're an invisible mofo, okay. What's this? Can I touch this? What that one's shooting at, but okay. Oh, fuck, 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 I don't know, but we'll do it anyway, so, okay. Stop shooting at me. What are you doing sneaking around over here, huh? You got something to hide? Uh-oh. Oh, these accounts are getting pretty determined, huh?
unable to reach the vanguard even my bond with my brother is fake i don't really have an option to not keep moving what am i going to just sit here oh i thought i'd just sit here and have a pow wow you know eat some snacks or something oh, what's the shit You're from that site? What? Why is this red? This is a very red color. Oh. Wait, what the fuck? I saw. Oh wow, okay, no, we actually have to run. Seriously? They're just gonna follow my ass. They're gonna be like, there she goes! Oh, that's a bad, bad thing to tell me. Oh, we're gonna fail now, okay. I'm gonna let everybody down. Fucker's done fucking around? Oh. Oh, oh, okay, you guys seeking missiles. Oh shit, he's immune to that. No, oh, that's not good. Oh, you're not immune anymore, okay. Screw you. It's growling at me. Oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Let me take out his little peons. Because clearly they are an issue. He goes into the bubble too? Are you kidding me? Just gets to, oh fuck. He just gets sucked up into a black hole or something over there, like the missing one. Tell him he's a bitch. Tell him that we will join you as soon as we are able. Tell him. Tell him that. You know. You can say it. Use your big girl words. You can say it. Oh, you know to call it out, Jesus. Let go of what? Oh, she did. That's okay, though. It's beyond the threshold, okay. And we got a timer! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what did I do? Go. I touched something. <laughs> okay. Feathers, bird. Bird is losing a lot of feathers. That's not healthy. Bird is also glowing, and we are in space. We got space bird. Space bird. Yep. No, we died. <laughs> We're going to the afterlife. This is what death is. Okay. <laughs> ah. Now it's raining. Wait. What? My shit was supernova. Seriously? I'm getting the cell vibes from this shit. That's... I'm impressed. Oh. We're on fire! And now we're free- what? 
Okay. Pick an element. Bruh. Confirmed. Dead. We died. We died. Yep. Yep. I mean, there's there's no other explanation for that one. Dead. <clears throat> we got launched into oblivion. R.I.P. Yes. No. Is this, <laughs> this is... Uh, Guardian. That vision. Oh, this is pretty. I think we're inside the Traveler. Hmm. Definitely some corruption going on. Mordor. Let's take the hobbit <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh man. Okay, that's a pretty cool effect. Okay. I don't want to go down the hole. Is there another option? I don't want to go down the hole. I'm gonna die. Almost died. Yeah, I can jump to save that. Okay. That's a guinea pig. That's a guinea pig? Did I miss having those things? They've crossed the threshold. This is it. We're really here. Bro, no, we died. We fucking died, bro. There is no crossing the threshold. We are dead. We are six feet under. We are dead. We cease to exist. That's not normal. That's definitely not normal. Bro, we are dead. Oh dear God. Oh, look a butterfly. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Yep, nope. Nope, nope. 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 I had a recently-ish replayed that that part of the game in Guild Wars 2. 
I think that was when I was playing through Vix account to do the guide for the Griffin Mount. When you see a ghostly ethereal bird, you are definitely dead. You are definitely dead. And then you're supposed to follow it. You are even more dead. You are dead dead. I have a world to save. Am I gonna see Joko or some fucking equivalent of Palawa Joko? Because that guy was a dick. He was a dick in the first game, he's a dick in the second game. Spoiler alert, he actually finally dies, but nothing. You're alone. No shit, Sherlock, we're alone because we're dead! Jesus fucking Christ, where are you? So I can like just grab your little ghost thing and just beat you into the ground. God! There is no Wi-Fi. There is... There is no Wi-Fi signal. <clears throat> no, actually we did not. That is a good point. But I really don't think they're going to be bringing Joko back. Especially since he's sitting there being tormented by a Mad King Thorn. What was that? Maybe. Grass? Air? It's not what I expected the heart of a traveler would be like, but it's beautiful, isn't it? And so familiar. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I feel, like, I feel like that thing is what look it's got a face there's eyes it looks mad it looks super what the shit is that that thing is pissed man that thing is like i'm gonna eat your soul joke's on you <laughs> i haven't even had coffee yet Yep, dead. Seriously dead. That's why this looks so pretty. It's because we're dead. We're so fucking dead, man. Because I need my coffee so I stop seeing things. That's upside down. Caffeine deficient. Yep. Yep. I need my coffee. This is city architecture. No! Really? This is city architect? No, man. I thought this was natural. Jesus fucking Christ. Captain Obvious here. Okay. I'm impressed that that stuff is staying anchored to the floor. That is not an easy feat to do. Usually you gotta like screw that thing in, mount it to something, especially if they're heavy. species my ass these are fucking bats from hell you want me to cross those platforms after seeing those okay okay travelers got an infestation apparently We can do this, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. Stop flitting about.
What happened to that tree? We're missing part of it. The fuck? I don't remember much about the Traveler lore, because I never really got into the story of this game. Um, all I know is that it showed up one day and it like was good and it gave us stuff and that's about as far as I know. Icon. Icon of. Get the fuck out. Darkness. How's that shit? That's a stabby thing. I'm gonna go stab some bitches. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing what I'm told! That's a very pretty lamp. Dude! I would love to like make one of those things for this room. That would be so cool. I think I can channel the power Sparkles! We just need to be closer. Do we have to? Is it sanitary? Do you know if this is gonna be good? Also, glitter, that's like crafting cancer right there. Oh my god. There's a wellspring of paracausal power. We can use it. Where? Transcend okay. Oh whoa, what the fuck happened? Don't do that. No, don't kick me out! Oops. I panicked. While you are transcendent, your grenade and melee are reached. Oh! Good, I guess, right? I know this street. I know that shot. Do you? Is it, is it a good shop or is it a bad shop? Also, what shop are you talking about? Is it this one or is it that one? That looks like an apartment building. Don't fall down. Got it. the tower that's our tower before gaul destroyed <coughs> it years ago 
Wait. I'm picking up a Vanguard emergency transponder. It's faint, but it's not far from here. We're dead. Someone else must have made it through. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a goddamn trap. I'm telling you right now, it's a trap. That person got murdered. Some Billy badass probably ripped out the transponder and just like, we're gonna send out an SOS. Come. It's a fucking trap. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks like a fighting platform of death. You know why? You want to know why? Drop into the abyss. Actually, that looks like rocks, and I'm pretty sure that's going to kill me too. But, abyssal drop. Alright, 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 alright. Also, there's that thing over there. Yep. Oh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Punch these fucks. I'm a fucking hunter and I'm just sitting here punching peeps. So, logically, there's two of these. That means I have two assholes to kill. Oh my god, Parker. There's no need for that. Take this cable and strangle them. Oh, you're immune. Why are you immune? Oh, that's why. Okay. It's not working. Stab myself. Bloodletting! Okay. And of course there's bad guys that spawn in because they got nothing better to do. Oh, 
motherfucker just nopes out. Of course you do that. Of course. Oh, you decided to come back. Oh, and you brought buddies. Really? I guess he put himself out of okay. him. I see the the cancer over there. Not taking damage. B button ain't working. There we go. Instructions unclear. Stab itself to self. Fucking way in hell, I can make it all jump.
Oh, thank you for giving me chests along the way. At least it doesn't feel like I'm being forced to do this. Maybe they do have Wi-Fi out here. This was the old Vanguard command center. Our that boss fight. That's what this is. Boss fight. Well right there. More than I've ever felt before. Feels like, like you could reach out and pull all that power to you. Control it. Could you? Was that, a was that a question or was that a suggestion? It sounded more like a suggestion. Oh, oh, we were being possessed. We're going somewhere. We are going places. Oh, what do I have now? What abilities? The line between light and dark is it's gone. It's it's gone. Scotty, you're you fused light and dark into harmony. Bitch. How? <laughs> That's how. Oh. Prismatic Hunter. Oh my boy, it's another one. Subclass. Oh, wait, I can do. Whoa. <coughs> wait, Bungie's going to hell? Why is Bungie going to hell? I know that I got an email like months ago about something. No, no, hold on to that thought. I want to go. I choose to stay out of drama for games that I really don't play a lot of. I'm gonna get a drink, hold on. Very nice thunderstorm going on outside. Still a coffee. I haven't put any alcohol in this, so. Although I'm tempted to. All right. So it sounds like you want to be a prismatic subclass. So that you can access a little bit of everything and anything? Hmm. That's what it sounds.
I don't remember any of this shit. <laughs> Oh, those, okay. Those are new. Wait, all of the, oh. Okay. I know Golden Gun, that's been like one of the core things, that's Soul. Stasis was when I really got into this game because Stasis, that was, that was a fun one. And then having to hunt down all that stuff. Ark, okay. It's been there. Oh, no, that one has been there. Okay, that's the Void. This one, the the green one, that's when I kind of semi came back after a while. That's like the Neptune thing. You got like this weird thing. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll just do this and just see how it goes. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and unlock a bunch of shit again. Are you serious? What happened to all of the ones I did unlock with uh, the stasis? Are those all gone? They're just like, poof. Apparently, that's some bullshit. No, okay, well, there's this. Oh, okay. Nope, this changed a little bit. We'll just go with it. I don't know. Game knows best, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. All I know is Waz pew pew pew. We can use this. Let's go. The transponder signal isn't far. That's a circle fucker. The signal's coming from Mordor! Hey, what does that simply walk into mortar? We had to die apparently in order to get here, so. Oh, okay. Stab! Don't do teleporting ass. What? Oh shit, that was the trap. I knew it. I knew it. Eat that. Oh shit, he's got some powers too. Oh god. Okay. Okay, you know what? You know what? Oh my god. Oh, he's not dead yet. He is not dead yet. Oh, he summoned his bats from hell. Oh my god. Oh my god, Becky, he's coming to get me. Oh my god, it's the Wicked Witch of the West and her bats. Fucking evil flying monkeys. They're coming to get me. Oh my god. 
Load already! Jesus Christ! Oh, I wanna die, I wanna die, I wanna die, I wanna die! Ah! Oh god, there's another one! Turn into a bundle of nerves, okay? Oh, that was disorienting. Okay. That that was intense. I think I I need a minute. You need a minute? I need a minute. Are you kidding? I need therapy after that. You need a minute, Jesus Christ. Oh, hell, now what? The hell? It's hurting. I can feel it. I feel it. No shit, it's hurting. He has an infestation clearly inside of him. If we're supposedly inside of the Traveler, clearly he has been infiltrated. There's enemies behind allied lines. That's our problem. We need to eradicate the infection. We'll be fine. <sighs> Thanks. So, what's next? We're outmatched. We're alone. And... And... Think I'm alone. What is that noise? It's coming from over there. Holy shit, it spoke. It was like the third time I've heard my my character talk entirely. Maybe the second time. I don't know. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> he could sneak up on a fella. No fucking way. You're not crow. Are you serious? Well, I'll be damned. No, I'd be damned. Cade? Oh. The kid told me if you got Cade six is back. I said um. Nathan Fillion, actor, well, voice actor, you, character. Yeah. I finally have someone to talk to about Crow's stupid haircut. Come on. I'm guessing you're a boy. He's Captain Hammer. I won't say I have answers. Yeah. But let's talk. Oh my God. I like Crow's hair. No, you don't like his haircut. You don't even know what a haircut is. Maybe he does. I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. Cade's sick. What? Why is he here? Yep, Nupkins from... We are dead. We're dead. Nope. Yep. Probably remember that. Not yep. Partly my fault. Lesson learned. Let's not dwell. And after that, nothing. But not a bad nothing. A peaceful nothing. I think I felt her there too. My ghost. Sundance. She was part of me. Or I was part of her. Like we were two cards shuffled back into our deck, whole again. And then there was. Oh, there was. Separation, something pulling me out. I woke up here in this body alone. No ghost, no way to use the light. Yeah, because we're dead. And what could make this traumatic experience better than finding my killer waiting for me? But we talked it out because we're adults. He seems to these days. Yeah, pretty low bar. Oh, man. Because we got bigger problems. Bigger weirder problems. Crow 
said this was all inside the traveler, but I already knew. up in that monolith with their hand on a knife. What? The girl calls it the witness. It's like an angry volcano. I said it already, but it is good to see you. Just wish it were under better circumstances. It's it's good to see you too, Kate. I liked Kate a lot because of the Kate, sass and personality. Right. Again, this is a lot. And as much as we both want to catch up, we ain't got that kind of time yet. You've got to get out there and find Crow. I was expecting him, not you, and that ain't a good sign. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We can save the celebrations for later. Guardian, we should... Can we talk for a minute first? Just you and me? I'll give you two some privacy. Last I heard from the kid, he was out on patrol. Called in some sort of darkness anomaly. I'll scout ahead. Catch up with me when you're ready. No, but I really liked Cade through what of the story that I did play through. Because just, he had a lot of personality. And always, yeah. Just really sucks in how he died. Also, he went out with a bang, so. <clears throat> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. Okay. So, Kate, I looked him over while you were talking. Scan says that's really him. That is him? There's no readings I can't explain. He's made of light, like me, like the traveler. Yep, we're dead. Ghosts are guides, conduits for the light. Cade might not be able to wield his as a weapon, but if he's like me, maybe he can share the traveler's light, like we do. I'm not sure. This is new. But look what else we've gained. I can feel it. The way the light flows through you. Free. Harmonious with darkness. A full chromatic spectrum. I've only experienced something of this magnitude once before. When the traveler created ghosts to raise guardians. When I was born, Can we have Cade as our as our ghost? Everyone to save it from the witness. Cade's got a lead on Crow and Glint. Let's start there. I would pay for that. That would also, you know, means I have to play the game. But oh, this is the artifact. This I didn't. <coughs> I mean, I like the implementation of the artifacts, but at the same time, they're just kind of, in my opinion, they're a nuisance. But that's just I don't play this game that much, so and then it's starting to run. Oh my god. Okay. I guess I can't do this because it still requires us into the final shape and I have to buy it. Does that mean that I'm stuck here?
Wow. Okay, this changed. This, this, this changed. What the shit? <laughs> okay, give me a second. Give me, I have to process this. So that's the expansion. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Season pass. Oh god, I don't remember any of this. I have unclaimed challenges. Right now, I have that one. Okay. Bro, I still have a bunch of these. Okay, hold up. I mean, I guess that was it. I guess I can just go do whatever the hell it was because I can't continue on the, the story. Question mark? I don't know. This game always confused me about that. And how much content is locked behind a paywall. I'm on act two. See anything since that goes okay, hold up. So what else is in here? Is this the bullshit Hellraiser was talking about? I don't know. Where does this go? Alright, well I guess that was it of the initial thing. Okay, let's go back and then see, let's see what, what's up. <clears throat> yeah, nope, you do have the paperwork. All right, well. So, map destinations, because what I was. Um. Crap, I don't know what to do. Let's go here. It's been a while, so I really don't know what I'm doing. But we're gonna go do stuff. I'm, I'm familiar ish with that one, so. that being my ship though. The fight continues. Oh 
hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, you gotta get me out, you want to keep the lady. It's fine. I'm, yeah, I guess we'll do that one. What's up, lady? May it prepare you. Well, it's not going to prepare my ass over that. Jesus Christ, I do not know what I am doing. Okay. Well, this is the one that we just did. Launch the mission from the Legends subscreen in the director. Alright, so destinations, Legends. What the shit is this? I know a vault of glasses. How do I get rid of this thing down here? Starcross, Zero Hour, Queen's Fall, Prophecy, Ghost of the Deep, Vault of Glass, I guess it's this one. I'm gonna die because my power is not there, but you know what? You never know until you try. <laughs> Oh, 220 people were fired from Bungie? Goddamn. Okay. That's, that's a lot of people. Although, I feel like there's an exodus going on right now because Game Informer is finally shutting down, so yeah, after 33 years. I'm gonna do my stasis. Like, why, why change that shit? Dry guns. Yeah, should be that. Should still be it. Okay. Oh my god! I did not mean to push that button. And I died, yes. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a lot of that. What's my button to finish them? It's not E, apparently. Oh, this is gonna be a struggle. Okay.
has been an incident. This is a very dark tunnel. <laughs> Oh god, oh god, okay. What? No. Well, thanks for telling me. Oh, I died. I did not make that. Oh, this is great. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. Oh shit! Oh, we're gonna have the- Oh, we got that weird bouncing thing when you jump. Okay. Like when you hit a wall. This is gonna be fun. Right. There we go. Oh, hell no. That shit's gonna push me off. Oh shit! Oh fuck! 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 No! <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> oh, I am never gonna get through this. Okay. Okay, I made that. Oh god. Oh my god, my hand is starting to sweat. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, oh no fucking way. Oh my god. Oh Jesus, I'm out of for jump. Oh my god. Fuck. Chess can't jump in this. Okay. Oh! Impale myself on that. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I didn't make it either, so... No, 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 no. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Jesus Christ.
There is no run for this. How the fuck are you supposed to run when you're crouched like that? Is there a one? No, I can't make that. I can't even get past this part. Maybe there's a part that doesn't extend out. Yeah, there is. Shit. Okay. Right here. Oh, fuck, 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 uh, yeah. Come on, I had that. Excuse me? I don't have time for you. I'm on a timer. Okay. <gasps> oh, God. I think I've done this one before. Okay, not that one. Oh, 
Oh, that's that's unsettling. Okay, not that one. I'm not sure which one I have to go to. If I remember correctly, it's like one of those. Nope, 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 nope. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna run out of the time before I even get there. I don't know what I'm doing. No, no, no. I see why there's people who uh, will take others through stuff like this because I am lost as all holy fuck all man. So this one had something. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know what I'm doing. I might give up on this. I found it. It was the very last one on the right. Okay. Bro, what you call that? That looks like light. Do I go down? Oh my god, they're everywhere! I don't, I, I don't want to be here! I don't know what I'm doing, oh my god! Run the fuck away! Oh 
they're still coming. Still coming. Okay. Now what? Am I supposed to deal with all of those things? See a ramp. I'm gonna go up the ramp. I don't know if that's what I need to do, but let's just take me back up to the parts. Yeah. Okay. I don't wanna go back down there. <laughs> um I don't know where I'm supposed to go with this. So there's like nowhere here to go. I don't see any ledges to jump up either. Yeah, no, this is a bad state. So. It's like a fail, a fail state. You went down, you have to deal with this shit. I'm supposed to go, but okay. Not this way. It just takes me right back to here. So when I got in here, I said that there is no light here. But I'm not quite sure sure what I'm looking for. No, no, I gotta go back down there. These things are gonna be down there. Although this is something new, so... Yeah. God, this is what I want to let people do whenever like new content comes out and then they're like trying to figure shit out and exploring and failing over and over again. Let's 
see is that all the rare I don't know if there's something in this room that's hidden that I just don't see. It's like the only thing that's... I don't know. Could be hidden wall somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, no. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna go back to the moon. We're just gonna do PvE stuff. I don't know what I'm doing there. I'm trying my best not to go back to playing just the Gambit because that's all I ever played in this game was Gambit. I'm trying my hardest not to succumb to that habit. And that's what that is. That's a, that is a habit. That is a bad habit. That is close to an addiction. No, 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 I just want to come back here. I am sorry, come back. There it is. I wish I could remember the finishing button was. Could do the glass ceiling. That one I played the crap out of. <laughs> Also, I'm just trying to remember how to play this game. Which is kind of weird because I'm probably not going to continue playing this one, but... Fuck? No, 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 no. Okay.
that's a portal, okay. I just saw that capture hex circles. We did a thing. Brace yourself. Prepare to do battle. What are we doing? Oh, those guys. Nope, 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 nope. Those are explodey boys. Explodey boys. There we go. Destroy the ambassador of seventh and brought through the portal. I guess we did the thing. It's a complete. Holy shit. Okay. Floating bodies. Oh, there's something up there. Something sparkly. Come, sharp one. Oh, it's talking to me. There is something you must see. Carry your thinking machine to the place I sent. Sharpen yourself with knowledge before the true battle begins. I'm supposed to go this way. You're so fucked. Excuse me. That was it. 
Who's that? Oh my god. What is this? I lack something. Don't you call me out like that. That hurts. What is this? Like a little bunny figure. No, no. Really? Okay. Came out of this hole, right? Is there more in here? Oh, this is a spawn cave. Okay. This is something I marked. Am I gonna die if I do this? I mean, I already failed that other thing I tried to do, so. I am so lost. Ah! No, 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 no. Nurse isn't talking to me. Does it have to go this way? Oh, why did I do that again? No, 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 come back, come back, come back. Going down a dark cavern. It's probably not safe to breathe the fumes here. It looks sketch. New objective. Harris, we found it. It appears to be a ritual of some kind. We must learn its purpose. Do not be afraid to engage the hive. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? I have to collect the tablets, but I'm not quite sure. What is that? I don't know what I'm doing. It says the thing I need to do is back here, but like... Pretty sure that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. 
felt nice though. Maybe I'm supposed to go for this. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Fuck, 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 fuck! Oh, there's two of them. Okay. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Do I jump across this or am I going to die? Wizard. Okay. I guess we go.
I know the pain that you gave the day Omnigal tore her apart and silenced her forever. Bruno. Our fates nearly intertwined today when a nightmare of Omnigal's death was launched. Okay. My survival was at risk. Granted by the essence you retrieved from the Kota nightmare. She's got some weird ass names in here. If you say so. Cleanse the essence. Essence of despair completed. Okay. Thanks. I can track it. Okay. That's also not helping. Right, so quests. Do not wait to speak. What is it? Collect resources, loot chests, and complete patrol. Okay, so basically just do activities. Stay out of the shadows. Don't you fucking tell me what to do. There's people there. Chest. It's the next altar, because I hope it is. Yeah, they're coming this way too. Okay. Because you put up your little smoky shield thing doesn't mean I can't see you. Don't you run away from me?
bullet sponge. Jesus Christ. We did a thing. Shit, I'm done. I think everybody left me that was here. That's higher, that's higher. Yeah, everybody just kind of noped out after that one. Okay. I don't know why. We're almost done with that. Let's not touch that though. The moon is a weird place. I don't remember some of this stuff. What's that? Resources. Are... Yeah. Was this? Weird place. Oh. Took a back side of that area that I was like, ooh. To the dark side of the moon. It's 
the Q button. That's what I have it set to. Access those twenty four percent. Okay, down there. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Edges are a thing, yeah? back here. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, event, event. There's people again. Starting it over again? There it is. Alright, well we did that. Alright, I have cleansed the essence. Let me go back to wherever.
Well, let you go. You did your thing. From the depths of the Hellmouth, my very soul was shattered into pieces. It was all I could do to try and pick them up again. But some pieces, as you can see, were tired with working. I must call upon one of them now. An ah. ancient talisman imbued. He tried the account. Go and let him. So what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to try to end it. Okay. Do we have coffee? Uh, check the table. Right. Now to have a full set of Dreambane armor. First step is admitting that you have a problem. <laughs> oh man. Right. Oh, that's a cute little gerbil thing. Oh, crap, I don't know much of this. You got a headache? Oh, so it's up. Um. Shit, is that the one I still haven't done? Yeah. Damn it, kitty. I just got stuffing. I need to put it to I need to assemble. I am so sorry. I am I am a bad sister. I am such a bad sister. And I knew that shit was coming. I knew it, and I'm just like, oh, I still got time. I still got time. Hold on. Thank you. Coffee! It's like build a bear only build a build a doll. I see shadows following in your wake. Quickly. Yeah, see, I even restocked it. I just haven't done it yet. Alright, um give me a second. Because I can at least do this part. That way, <laughs> you can put a little more game on it. All right, all right, all right, all right. The hunter is near. Jeez. I didn't feel you approach. Cade and I agreed on one thing at least. A hunter's presence. <laughs> we are not fighting. You and I belong out there. Where we may touch the wild. There, get your name on it. I will I will assemble this tonight. I am God damn it, I'm sorry. Oh, You go in there. there you go. What have you come to learn? <laughs> Wonderland we Alright. 
right. I'll even take pictures and I will send it to you of your of the progress. But, but hear me out. Hear me out. You have found me, Empress. Let us speak. This is my next sewing project. I'm just going to get her winter coat. I have the fabric picked. Everything's in this giant Ziploc bag. It's for really easy stuff. Got the liner. We're using the guinea pig fleece. <laughs> and then this is from an old chair that we uh, took the upholstery off. And it's like a, a weird fabric that I think is going to look good. And then I've got, I've got the, the patterns cut out. And the next step is to make the template out of the muslin, which is behind me. So, I, so I am like the worst person to paint fingernails. Seriously. Ask Kitty. Ask Kitty. When I was growing up, she was the one who did it. She always painted my fingernails. I have no idea how to paint fingernails. So. Cade and I agreed on one. I'm really bad at it. A hunter's place is not behind walls. We are not cousins. You and I belong outside, where we may touch the wild. Nope. <clears throat> But I only have one hand done. I ran out of time before stream. Your path led you here. Take the last step. But I have this, and then I found out that with this, you need to have a coating. Or else it chips like a bitch, so. I haven't put the coating on, so. What? You had dinner. I heard you. Yeah. Now that we have it working, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your path. Hey, you. Here's your good girl. You want, you want, you want a treat? Is that your dessert? <laughs> there you go. You got your, your daily dose of the doggo. <sighs> Alright. But yeah, no, I don't, I mean, I just recently found out that you're actually supposed to push like your that the, the if you have some of my fingernails do that. Some of them have like a skin that kind of grows over it a little bit, which is apparently normal. So, I don't fucking know. Because my line of work, you couldn't have painted nails. What I used to do, you couldn't have painted nails because so many reasons. But also, by the time that, like health reasons. But by the time that you got done doing a shift. All of it would be pretty much pulled off because you have to constantly wash your hands. You have to constantly be like just doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, so imagine like 16 years of not painting fingernails. I feel like a little kid <laughs> putting this on. But there have been some times where I'm like, I'm going to paint my toenails. And then I feel very bonita. But yeah, if you have a job that you have to wash your hands a lot for like healthcare reasons, sanitation reasons, well, it's kind of the same thing. Not really, but it is. It's not even worth it. That's why a lot of people who were receptionists in my line of work, um, they would get 
press on nails or something like that. Some of them but were sturdy, but I have always had the belief and I still do that when you do stuff like that, unless you are using it to grow your fingernails out, I always felt like that was kind of a disservice because like your nail beds kind of like, this is living tissue. And then you're like putting that, sh I don't know. This lady will not shut up. I don't want to walk away from you. She's like talking shit to me. All right. Anyway. Wait, what was I supposed to do? Oh, I was doing this. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And I got coffee, coffee burps. Um. And uh, really use hand cannons, so don't really use submachine guns. Encouragement not miss. Oh, okay. Okay. It would do sniper, I guess. Think you can refund points. Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> so it's about dealer's choice, and I don't think I've got any of those things. I mean, I'm still rocking the gun from a long, long, long time ago. Because I really like this one. I like the Chroma Rush. Glad to see that you made it back home after your uh, excursion with the laundromat, Kitty. Yeah, I don't have anything with the, the dealer's choice, I don't think. At least I'm not understanding. Alright, so pass me the pyramids about take the first step and hunt the nightmare of Om Omnigun. Oh god. Hmm. 
Woo! Let's not go that crazy. Okay. Don't talk to me. I'm busy. A floating orb of whatever the fuck. I made it just at the end. You know, <clears throat> I remember a long time ago, this is probably when I first started like living on my own out of, you know, the, the house with Kitty and mom and dad. No, wait, no, no, dad was already gone. Anyway, <clears throat> I remember I would find these really cheap little Halloween puppet doll things that you would hang and I kind of miss them. And this is... This is making me want to, like, make a few and just hang around the house. The house of Kate here. Oh. Yeah. It does. Holy shit, it's a Terry. Give me a second. Back it up, back it up. Oh, that's cute. Girl, how is it going? Oh. Seriously, I got the coffee burps. I'm not the one. Not the truck. It was a Nissan? Wait, was it a, were you the one that had a Nissan? No. I might be, mm, vehicles. What are they? Um, I think, was it a truck? Okay, yeah. The big mofo, yeah. I know that Orion has a truck too. 
I was, couldn't remember if it was just him that had the truck or if there was somebody else. Fords, Fords are good. They're decent. They last for a bit. Just glad you didn't get a Silverado. I actually loathe those trucks. For obvious reasons. That's the one that tried to kill me. But... <laughs> Ryan's got an F-150. All right. Um, because trucks are actually pretty useful, Kitty. I remember I wanted one for the longest time growing up, and Dad was just like, no. Nope. All right. All right. But that was also the type of person that was one of those people that kind of focused on your your image, um, like public image. So I was one of those don't don't show that you have issues to the public. <laughs> oh. That sucks. Yeah, no, adulting sucks, bro. It really does. But with adulting, you get adulting money. Although, although when I say that, you know, when you're an adult, you know, you get adult money to buy your the things that you've always wanted. I've always, I have found out at this point in my life that you actually still have to do something and provide something of worth so that people purchase it, and then you can get adulting money. <laughs> oh, that's not normal. Yeah. Food for the spawn, yes. Speaking of back to school, you know what sucks, Terry? Oh yeah, no, they don't. Especially when they start to hit that puberty stage. That's when shit gets really weird and awkward. But anyway. I'm gonna have a small little a little rant about something that I've done. I remember I ranted about this in, in a channel on Discord that just Vic Hellraiser and I have access to because you guys don't need to know the weird shit that we talk about. Mundane crap. Anyway. 
So I actually, one of my goals this year was to get through um, my fabric stash. And one of the things that I did was I learned how to make pencil pouches. And they're very cute. My mom gave me zippers from things that she, you know, over the years took out. So I learned how to make them. I was very proud. They look very adorable. And then I was going to sell them where I go for Sundays to sell the baked goods that we make. I don't know if other people don't understand, <clears throat> but when you make something that takes time from you, it takes resources from you, energy from you, it takes a lot to make something. Even these guys, right? It takes time to make it. We just found out that I have been procrastinating on making kitties. Next little thing. I procrastinate, but it still takes time to make them. This is up for my own personal gain, though. Anyway. Well, and you guys too. So, saying that, I put a price on my little pencil pouches. And at first I was like, I'm going to... I always ask for a higher price because... Something here in Mexico is that bartering exists. It's not everywhere, but it definitely exists more than I have experienced in the USA all my life. <clears throat> I just taking notes. So, here, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Well. I'm keeping this one. It's too cute. So, this is a pencil pouch, right? Zipper works, it's got a nice little liner. Very cute. So I priced this, this is gonna sound ridiculous probably, but you have to understand that pesos and USD are completely different. So I had priced this at 100 pesos because it takes time. They're nicely made, handmade, zippers are nice, right? when you could actually go to the store and pay like two and a half times the price of this. And they're the cheap Chinese shit. So when I put these out, I knew that it was asking for a high price and that's fair. I always ask, as I said, I always ask for a higher price and then you lower it down, right? So when I had shown this to the other people that are there on Sundays and when they asked the price and I told them, and one of them who sells a lot of Chinese things, like Chinese made stuff. <clears throat> yes, it is. It's like five bucks, right? So when I made this and I had shown them the price and, you know, they were kind of like doing this, they were looking it over and just like, yeah, no, it's really good. That lady said that was way too much. And I was like, okay, when I was originally making them, I was thinking 70 pesos, which is like three dollars and fifty cents or something like that i don't actually know the currency exchange anymore somewhere around there and when i was making them i'm like you know 70 would be a good ballpark like that would mean that you know it makes me feel good that i did this people appreciate it and when i said okay fine if 100 is too much i'll drop it down to 70 and she was like no that's still too much and i was like okay <clears throat> yeah it's about five dollars so then then she had said it would that she would pay 50 for it and i was like uh-uh no no i was pissed i was fuming i didn't say anything to her i didn't want to talk to her for the rest of the time i was pissed because it's like i made this i made all of the other ones that i have i have like five other ones and I was like, this took time. It took effort. I had to learn how to do it. There were some new things I learned. And I'm really happy with this. And for some person to tell me that no, what I'm asking for was too much. I was just like, okay. And then in response to me saying, no, 50 is a little too cheap in my opinion. Oh, she probably does. Um, she showed me what she is charging for one of her things at 70 pesos. Not exactly the same thing, but I'll show you. It was something like this. This, I 
love the crap out of this, but it was one of these things. It's like pre-made, right? Except it looks super cheap. The zipper is not even pretty and it looks really gross, right? Something that would probably fall apart after a year at most. That's being generous. This thing looks, it looks cheap. And I was like, so <sighs> since I'm still working on my conversation, I didn't have this conversation with her. I had it with Vic when he got home after the weekend. And I was just like, something that is made with cheap products, cheap fabric, cheap materials that she is doing a resell of, she deems that worthy of 70 pesos, but something that I made with my own fucking hands, she doesn't seem, or she doesn't see the worth on that. And I was just like, this bitch is crazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other two ladies that are there on Sunday that we sell next to were just like, no, like one of them said 70 is a good price. And I was just like, thank you. So to, that was when I learned that there is definitely some people in this world that just don't understand when something is handmade that there is a price that's justified. I have actually never encountered somebody like that before in all of my life until that time. Because it's like, you know, if you don't like the price, you don't have to buy it. And now, since it is that time of the year when I am starting to make things for um, like Halloween, Dia de Muertos, um, Christmas, Christmas is huge here. So what I'm starting to do is I'm starting to ramp up making things for that. I have these cute little, um, I'm not sure. I think it's pronounced amiguri, amiguramis. Um, I'm making a couple of those things. I still don't know how much I'm going to price those because I'm learning how to do that shit on the fly. But one of the things that I am also making is a scarf. Um, I'm knitting a scarf. I'm going to knit more than just one. But it looks really pretty and it takes time. It takes me probably eight hours total to make that particular type of scarf from start to finish. And I already knew that like I'm going to be asking for at least 160 pesos for that thing because it is thick. It's really well made. The, fa the, the fabric, the yarn is pretty nice. And it's just, it takes time to make that shit. I was spending eight hours of my time to make that. And I swear to God, if that lady says that's too much, I'm going to be like, bitch, step off. You need to calm your tits or something. I don't know. Seriously, that whole entire fiasco thing pissed me the fuck off about her. But somebody else who makes things, she, um, she makes decorative boxes. She was like, no, man, that would be an easy 200 pesos. And I'm just like, yeah, no, I'm going to easily ask for that. But if, you know, push comes to shove, 160, that's the minimum. That is my minimum. But I'm going to ask for 200 at least. So, yeah, cost, skill, effort, shipping. Yeah, it costs. It takes time and it costs. It really does. Like my, my Ko-Fi shop, which I pretty much, I haven't done any updates to it yet, but like these things take time. They take, they take time. It takes, it takes efforts to make things good that people are going to use for years upon years. <clears throat> but yeah, like it's just <clears throat> like those things. Oh, what is it? Oh, they're down there. There's this one that's easy to grab. Like the journals that I've made, that takes time. This takes fucking time because you are literally sewing these pages into the book. But fucking hell. <laughs> I am not slapping titties with people. What the fuck? Anyway, so that was my little rant because, yeah, mm, that was, that was something that irritated the shit out of me. 
Like, no, your your work isn't worth that price. Here, this chi cheap Chinese shit and wallet is definitely worth that price. Bitch, please. Oh, anyway, it's back to this game. Oh. Just... What the fuck, kitty? But yeah. I'm not talking about boob fights. What the fuck? Uh oh, that was the wrong way. <clears throat> anyway, so. There's that. Um, and then I actually thought about um, making plushies, right? I have a bunch of patterns of some really cute plushies. I just like to sew. I'm, I'm starting to really get into sewing lately. After I made my cloak a couple of years ago, I just really want to do more sewing. But I've been procrastinating on it, so. But I thought about making some plushies. Now that I found out that polyfiber fill is actually relatively cheap here. Relatively. Kind of expensive still, but I was expecting it to be a lot more. Anyway. Ah. Just go and make a bunch of those things and be complaining. I can't imagine. Go make it yourself then. That's the other thing on Instagram. We're gonna have we're just gonna have this rant while I do this. Have a good night, Terry. But um on Instagram I've seen a couple of things when people are talking about the pricing of like handmade items and then how people complain about it. And I agree with them. If you think you can make it cheaper, then do it. Nine times out of ten, they won't. You too. What the fuck? Come here. Sacrificial altar. Got it.
Oh, she's chasing me. She's chasing me. She's chasing me. Tell you what, you stay over there, I stay over here, and we are fine. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Stay over there. Yeah, you sh shoot, shoot that Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh! Taken care of. For now, anyway. Did you retrieve any further essence? We did. This time unique to this nightmare. Uncover its secrets together. Under we have to. The hive await you inside the Scarlet Keep. Let me know what you find within. All right. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to continue playing Destiny 2. Like, on a weekly thing. Not really feeling it. Mostly because of content locking, but... I need to find something else. Or we could just do arts and crafts on Friday. Could do that. Could do arts and crafts. You can watch how I sew.
about bringing in an armed shipment. Any guardians nearby, rally to the landing zone and destroy whatever comes out of that kitch. I mean, we could. We could totally do arts and crafts. You get like a chill, a chill stream. Seriously? It's right behind me. Alright, so three bounties. We'll find out where the fuck bounties are. This is a patrol. Yeah. Oh, bounties, I think, are what I have to pick up from her, I think, right? If I actually read the thing, you know. Good work. Yeah, bounties. Okay. Um, we're gonna do the fallen. We're gonna do that.
Boing. One of the bounties? Oh, it's the fallen. Okay. Rapidly defeat. I think we can do that with this. Maybe. That's a fallen. I think. Um, anchor of light. Are you serious? I have to go through. Mm. Where is anchor of light? <sighs> Straight. Okay, go in the right way. The third one. The fourth one. Sealed. Okay. Okay, I got that one done. Five more fallen. Precision damage. 
Oof. Curious, two bounties done. I don't know where I'm going. I just went into a circle. Oh, fuck. Nope, 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 nope. Jesus. Nothing hurts. The man. I 
that I done. Not that one. Want to get safety? <laughs> I'm starting to see why. I mean, teach their own. All right. <clears throat> My present girls and everything that's in between. That is it for me this evening. I know it's like a minute before ending. It's one minute. Um, so obviously I'm not going to be playing this on Fridays. I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I have to find something else. I have 150 games in my Steam library, so I'm pretty sure we can figure something out. Um, although by the time that I find something, Jane Theor Wild's probably going to be like released for Guild Wars 2, so I'll figure it out. <clears throat> you have a girlfriend at, oh my god, girlfriend! Um... Uh, we might just, I mean, I'm starting to think that maybe we can just do like a just chatting slash crafting thing on Friday. See if that works for anything. No, I really don't know. I'm just trying to figure something else that's not Guild Wars 2. <laughs> but, um, well, we'll figure it out. Um, so with that said, tomorrow is Saturday. We've got Arma 3 scheduled. We are finishing this campaign tomorrow, hands down. We've got one near base and we're halfway there. Um, Vic and I have figured out the next thing that we're doing for the Arma 3 stuff. Um, that one's going to be hard. So, give me one second. It looks like I'm actually talking to you. Holy shit. I just saw that because the little thing was, oh my god, this whole entire time I've been talking. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> Awkward. Anyway. Yeah, so as I said, I've got stuff planned for the weekend. The Kita jackets or Kita coat is going to be work of progress, I think. I also need to like sit down and wrap up all these other projects that I have started. Like I need to finish up Lex Prime. That thing has been sitting there for like two months at this point. I need to finish that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're probably working on some stuff in this room too. I have another board up here that's similar to this one over here. Actually, here you can see it. Hold on. Right there. It's got like all the little important stuff. You know, there's the sewing machine with the booking machine. But yeah, no. So I got that put up. I'm happy about that. Um, and here, stuck in glasses. So. Let me turn that off. <clears throat> so yeah. Um. I've been feeling, I want to just be straight with you guys, I've been feeling kind of down for the past like week, week and a half. Um, I think I'm just starting to feel a little just 
eh, not a hundred percent. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, but I don't know. Just there's something bothering me. I don't even know what the fuck it is, but something's bothering me. <sighs> so, but I will be back. I mean, obviously we got Arma tomorrow. Um, we've got. Armo is going to be on Tuesday, and then Baldur's Gate, and then Warframe, and then I, yeah, I'll we'll have to figure it out. I mean, I'm open to suggestions as well, if you guys have anything. So, other than that, you guys have been great. I'll talk to you guys later. See you in Discord. Bye. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over.